Coming up is part one of the course from MakeThatTrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at MakeThatTrack.com. Hey, welcome to part one of our FL Studio Disco House tutorial. In this video, we're just going to be setting up our basic drums and drum beats. But first, before we get to that, let's just set up a few things in our project uh, so that we can get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is adjust our tempo. And we're going to be working at the tempo of 118. So in order to change our tempo, we are going to go to the tempo window here. We're just going to click and drag downwards and go to 118. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to set up is just a custom folder so that we can start uh, importing some samples and some different MIDI presets. So we're going to go to Options, File Settings, and right here we can set a bunch of different custom folders that we want to use. So right here I've set mine, and in order to do this you just click on this folder icon, and then it's going to bring up a dialog box where you can navigate to the folder that you want to use. Once you're done with that, just hit OK and it's going to bring this up here. And then you can close this, and on the left, it's going to pop open that folder and it's going to insert it here. So the one that I've imported is called Assets, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And so now I have all my samples and MIDI and presets. Okay, back to drums. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with what's called an FPC. And what this is going to do is allow us to use MIDI in order to write a drum pattern with a bunch of different audio clips. So I'll show you how this works. First, to get an FPC in here, just right click, go to Insert, and then choose FPC. Okay, and that's going to insert a channel here, and it's going to pop open the FPC itself. So in here, we just have a bunch of pads that we can assign audio clips to, and by default, there's already some samples in here. Okay, so if we want to uh, import our own, we're going to need to empty these. So in order to do that, we're just going to click on this down arrow here in the top left. We're going to go to Presets and Empty. So now every pad is empty, and we can start importing our own samples. So we can do this two ways. We can either click on this folder icon, and it's going to bring up another dialog box for us to navigate to our samples, or we can just drag and drop from the browser. So I'm going to go into Samples, Drums. And we're just going to drag in four different audio clips into here. So we're going to have our kick snap, a clap, and a snare. Okay, so now that I've dragged these in, I can click on the pads to play them. Okay, and another thing I can do is use a MIDI keyboard to play these pads externally. And to do that, each pad is set to a different MIDI note, so as you can see our snare is set to F sharp 4. So if I were to press F sharp 4 on the keyboard, it would play that audio. And our kick is set to C sharp 3, so you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm going to actually close that and delete this channel that we created. Because I have my own FPC already set up. This is just the same FPC uh, with uh, all of the same audio clips imported. Okay, so now that that's set up, what we can do is we can uh, create a pattern using MIDI. So let's right click on this and go to Piano Roll. That's going to open up our score editor. And so now I can just draw in the pattern that I want. On the left here, we see that all of our clips are, have been named to the appropriate note. So if I want to get a kick in here, just click here and create a kick. We're going to have one of these on each beat. So now if I just press play. Okay, so we have our basic kick loop here. So now let's get some snaps in here. We're going to have this on every second beat. We'll do the same for the claps and the snare. And so for the claps, if I go into the FPC and click on the clap here, you can see that there's a little bit of um, delay before the clap actually hits. So right now, with the timing that they're set at, they're going to be hitting a little bit late. 
So what we're going to do is go back to this score here. I'm going to hold Control or Command and then drag to select these. I'm going to hold Alt in order to bypass the grid and just make them happen a little bit earlier. Okay, so that should be good. It might even be a little early. Okay, now that we have our basic pattern drawn in, we can go back into our FPC and we can fine tune some of the settings. So if I want my snare to be quieter, I can click on the snare here and we have some options over here. We have a volume knob and a panning knob. And so by default, the, this volume knob is set all the way up. So the snare originally sounded like this. And that's a little too loud. So I've just tuned it down to about here. Now it sits a little bit nicely, more nicely in the mix. Okay, and so for our snaps and our claps, I want to pan them left and right. So if I just click on the snaps, as you can see, I've brought the volume down a little bit and I've panned them about 50% to the left here. And then on my claps, I've done the same thing. I've brought the volume down and I've panned them about 50% to the right. Okay. So now that we have our basic pattern ready to go, we can draw it in here into our actual timeline. And all I have to do is with the brush tool, which is the default tool when you go over here, just click and drag and I can draw in as many uh, patterns as I want. So I'm just gonna go to 16 for now. And now if I wanna play on this timeline instead of the pattern window, I have to go over here next to the play button and then select song instead of pattern. So now the playhead's gonna move over to here and I can play from this timeline. Okay, so now let's get some audio clips in here. So I'm gonna go back to my drums folder, and the first one we're gonna do is closed hat. Okay, and so I drag this in, and it's going to bring in the clip, and it's also gonna create a channel over here in our pattern window, um, which lets us control the volume and the panning. So as you can see, I already have these channels imported for all the clips that we're gonna use. And by default, this volume knob here is going to be at about here. So I've just turned this down. So as you can see, it's going to be a little too loud. A lot too loud. So I've just brought that down to about here. And we have a panning knob as well, but I'm going to leave that alone for now. Okay, and just to save some time within the tutorial, I've already gone through and fine-tuned the volumes for all of the clips that we're going to be using. Okay, so let's draw in our closed hats. Okay, now let's get uh, closed hat two in here. Okay, and this is going to be on the upbeat. It's gonna make our rhythm a little bit more interesting. And next we'll get a shaker in here to give it some groove. Okay, next let's bring in what I've called sizzle hats because they have a nice sizzly sound in the high end frequencies. We're just gonna be using this to uh, fill out this frequency spectrum of our drum beat. We're just gonna have this play once every beat. Okay, hey, next we're gonna be bringing in a sound that we're gonna use just once every four or eight bars in order to give the kit a little bit of variation. So we'll drag this in and just have it once every four bars for now. Okay, and finally, let's complete our kit with a crash symbol. So we'll drag crash in. Okay. Okay, and that's gonna do it for our basic drum beats. 
In the next video, we're going to be setting up the instruments for our song. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favorite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favorite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show you exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.